Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm teaching you how to download and install Mine Colonies in Minecraft 1.16.4. What is Mine Colonies? Well, it is a mod for 1.16.4 that adds in things like this. Like this epic town here is something that you can actually build out using Mine Colonies. It allows you to place down these different buildings and build out your own town that allows you to then get things like NPC workers, such as builders, crafters, farmers, fishermen, guards, miners, smelters, bakers, cooks, and so much more. There's a few different ones there. It's crazy. There's more being added all the time. There's different buildings that are specialized, like warehouses and citizen sites. It's really, really cool. And this mod is, is huge. It's, it's absolutely crazy how much is actually built out from this mod. And today I'm going to be showing you every and today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know to get it. However, first we have a smart sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz/apex to set up your very own Minecraft server so you can actually start enjoying Mine Colonies with your friends. It's an absolutely incredible mod and great to play with friends as well. So be sure to check out Apex to be able to do that. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, whether it's running Mine Colonies, whether it's running plugins, whether it's running a mod pack, and Apex has support for over 130 mod packs, by the way. You can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz to get it up and running quickly and easily. Nevertheless, let's go ahead though and get mine colonies up and running. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is a mine colonies download page. Come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16, and then under that you'll see mine colonies, and it'll be this like, green release here. Go ahead and click on the purple download button to the right of that. That will then go ahead and take us off, and after a few seconds, mine colonies will begin downloading in the bottom left on Google. Google Chrome and in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. So as you can see in the bottom left, there we go. You want to keep this file? Yes, we do. It's 100% safe to keep the file. Same thing on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to save it in the center of your screen. Moving on from there, we have Structurize. Structurize is basically a compatibility mod. Mine colonies can't run without the Structurize mod. So what we want to do is come over here to the right-hand side. And by the way, this is the fourth link down below or third, third link down below. But nevertheless, once you're on the Structurize download page, again, link in the description down below, come over here to the right-hand side again, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. And then actually with this, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of clicking the one up here at the very, very top, we're going to come down and download the one at the bottom that's actually got the, you know, gray A next to it. Now I want to say this, this is a little bit tricky. If the date here is more than the one at the bottom, right? If the date on the green one is newer than the one on the very, very bottom one here, download the top one, right? So basically you're gonna download whichever one of these versions has the most recent date. November 2nd, a lot more recent than July 29th. So we wanna download the one on November 2nd and by clicking the purple download button to the right of that. That'll then again take us off and after a few seconds, the download will automatically begin in the bottom left, right like so. As you can see, there we go, Structurized Downloaded. It's 100% safe to keep the file. Same thing as, or as Mine Colonies. And guess what, on Mozilla Firefox, you will also need to save the file in the center of your screen. And we are done just yet. Structurized and mine colony is a lot Structurize and Mine Colonies rely on Forge to install, basically. So if you don't have Forge, these mods can't run. They're useless. So we need Forge to do that. Luckily, the third link or fourth link or eighth link, I don't know, in the description down below, there's our link to download Forge, and it will take you here. This is actually our in-depth guide for Forge. Now, I'm going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you do have any issues, we do have a more in-depth guide here to help you out. Nevertheless, once you're on this page, you just want to scroll down and click on this green Download Forge button, and that will take you here. Then you want to make sure MC 1.16.4 is selected. As you can see that says 1.16.3 so we need to come over here to the left hand side click on the plus 1.16 and then click on 1.16.4 there that will then take us here where we want to come under download latest and click on the installer button then that'll take us to add focus where stop stop don't click a single thing on this page whatsoever not a thing just keep waiting and after 10 seconds or so in the top right you'll see a red skip button appear the only thing you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right and when you click on that red skip button in the bottom left you will see forge downloading there so as you can see in the bottom left it says forge 1.16.4 we can keep that file on mozilla firefox same thing in the center of your screen you will see forge appear it's safe to save as long as it has forge in the title again just click the red skip button and forge will start downloading now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we're done downloading and we can see we we have mine colonies here we also have structurize again that's a compatibility mod for it and then we have forge here as well now if your java files don't look like mine they look a bit different i'm going to show you how to fix that here in a second but first what if these aren't on your desktop at all well they're going to be in your downloads folder and to find those go ahead and click the uh, little windows icon to the top left of my screen probably the bottom left of your screen again the little windows icon in the top or bottom left and then go ahead and search downloads in here right like so you have this downloads file folder in windows click on that and then in here you'll find all the files you downloaded drag them to your desktop for ease of use now let's go ahead and start off by seeing if you have Java at all. We're going to do that by right-clicking on Forge, 
clicking on open with. And if you have Java here, awesome. Click on it, click OK, and then the mod system install will install. However, if you don't have Java, it won't be there. So go ahead and click off of that or whatever, and now we need to install Java. To do that, you can go to the description down below and you'll find this link. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Considering Mine Colonies is a Minecraft mod, guess what? You need this version of Java in order to install it. Now, for most people, that's going to allow you to open up Forge, but sometimes it won't. And in those cases, you'll need to run the jar fix, which is also linked in the description down below. Go down there, check it out, run the jar fix, go through this simple little tutorial to get it up and running, and then you'll be good to go. Now, finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Now we want to go ahead and click on install client here in the Forge mod installer and then click OK. Now it's going to go through download, set up Forge, basically everything it needs to do to get Forge up and running and working in Minecraft 1.16.4. It's building processors, it's downloading things, it's setting things up, and then eventually it'll say successfully install client profile Forge. Awesome. We can go ahead and then click OK here. Now you can delete Forge off your desktop if you want, but you might need to open Minecraft and close it for that to work, but usually you can just delete it. Now it's time to install these mods. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and before hitting that play button, before you hit, hit play, wait a second, make sure you're selecting the correct profile. In our case, that profile is going to be your Forge profile, and as long as it says 1.16.4-Forge under it, you're going to hit that play button. You are good to go. But, but if you don't have Forge profile at all here, or if you do and it doesn't say 1.16.4-Forge under it, what do you do? Well, in that case, you want to come up to the Installations tab up here and then click on Plus New. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm naming it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft 1.16.4 Grief Protected Survival Server. We've also got custom Skyblock. As far as survival goes, we've got Medieval Survival having 30 custom quests and a player-based economy, and Aquatic Survival having an amazing slash shop-based economy. Then there is Skyblock, which has so many new features coming out. So come get familiar with Breakdown Craft Skyblock because it is going to the next level very, very soon. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Now we go ahead and click on the versions drop down box here we'll have release 1.16.4 dash forge go ahead and click on that and yours may not be up here at the top yours may be down here at the bottom or something like that but we just want to select the 1.16.4 dash forge version i'm going to go ahead and change my resolution you don't have to do that but we're making a video here i want you all to be able to see once we get in game so we need to change the resolution then go ahead and click the green create button now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile come play with us and we have 1.16.4 dash forge under it in that case you want to go ahead and hover over this and click that green play button. It's going to open up Minecraft 1.16.4 with Forge installed and now we can install Mine Colonies and Structurize. I'm losing my voice. Hold on, hold on. I'm sure that came horribly across to the mic there. Sorry about that. The editor might have just cut that out. Basically, I cleared my throat on the mic. Uh, the editor, I, I, ed editor, we, we can you, can you, if, if it was, if it was really disgusting, you just cut that and then yeah, pick it up here. Any, anyway, so here we are. We're opening up Minecraft, and basically Forge is installed. You can see that all the crazy stuff going on, and the hard part's done. The hardest part is getting Forge open, and if you're seeing all this stuff, it's easy. It's smooth sailing from this point forward, but nevertheless, once you're on the Minecraft main menu, you want to click on this Mods button here, and then you want to come down here in the bottom left and click on the Open Mods folder button. Then you want to take Mine Colonies and Structurize from your desktop and drag and drop these into your Mods folder, right like so. Now we want to go ahead and close out of the Mods folder. If we come back to Minecraft, these aren't here, right? These aren't here. You click on Mods again, and these aren't here. What you need to do is click on Done and quit the game. Then you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher. And this time you don't have to worry about creating a profile or anything because you've already done that if you needed to. What we want to do is either select our Forge profile or the profile we created, whichever one you did, and then go ahead and click Play. So we've got our play breakdowncraft.com profile selected. We've clicked play, and now Minecraft's going to open. And in this process, you're actually going to be able to see there is Structurize right there, and there is the Mine Colonies mod. That means they're recognized. Forge says, hey, these are here. These may be Minecraft mods. Let's see if we can open them. And then it's going to it's gonna try to open them. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work, but we know it's going to work here. I've tested this. It's going to work in this case. But, but... Just because it shows up there doesn't mean it's going to work 100% of the time. However, usually if that's the case, you've got a version of, you know, a mod that's not correct for your version of Minecraft. Like a 1.15 version in 1.16, for example. But nevertheless, as you can see, it might freeze here or something like that. It literally said freezing data, so expect a freeze there. But here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Click on the Mods tab, we've got Structurize, and we've got Mine Colonies, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world. I'll call this our Mine Colonies world or mine colonies world i guess yeah sure then we'll make this creative just because that does make things a little bit easier and then we can jump on into the world here now while that's opening up i do want to come back over here and point you to on the mine colonies download page here right this is in the description the mine colonies download page once you're here you want to click on this check out our wiki see that little wiki link wiki.minecolonies click on click here it's fine this is a safe link 
and this is going to be how to do stuff in mine colonies, right? This is the biggest part of this that, like, needs to be known because it's one of those things where this right here is going to show you how to do everything. As you can see, specialized buildings like schools and everything. It shows you how to do it all. The different systems, the different items and blocks, the workers, the buildings, all of that stuff is here. It's really, really cool and, and kind of something you need to do in order to really understand this. So, as you can see, there's different tutorials, schematics, tutorial. And the tutorial, cool thing about this is setting up your colony. And it gives you a quick walkthrough of like how to get things set up, right? So cool stuff there. But now if we go ahead and come back over here to Minecraft. We are loading on up this world. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let's get it loaded up. Every time, I, normally I will do a jump cut when I'm generating a world because of this lag that can happen. So hopefully it didn't translate too much into uh, into the video there. But nevertheless, here we are in game. We can go ahead and hit E, click over, and Mine Colonies is here. As you can see, shingles and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, basically everything seems to be added kind of from Structurize here, which is kind of what you expect. All the structures are kind of pulled from that. But here is Mine Colonies and all the different stuff. As you can see, there's a supply ship. And I believe what we need to get started with is going to be a camp, right? A supply camp. So we go ahead and take this. Now, there are ways to grab this in-game and get it and all that stuff, but that's what the wiki's for. We're kind of skipping ahead here, and I just wanted to show you this and kind of what happens with this. So as you can see, we've got this camp that just kind of appears, right? You can go ahead and check that, and it requires a flat surface, obviously. So let's go ahead and try it here, maybe. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Boom. Nope. Still three, these blocks in the air. Uh, let's come on. Let's see if we can... Uh, you, gotta, you gotta have a really flat service for this. So, anyway, let me go ahead and do a quick jump cut, and I will, uh, I will, I will do this really fast. So here we go. We now have a pretty flat surface. We should be able to place this down. Might need to move it over a little bit, but... Uh, what? 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 Oh, I, I think it's these, uh, these blocks over here that are messing with me. <laughs> this is kind of annoying, but you kind of get the idea as to how this works. You can move things around with that Structurize mod. That's what's allowing us to move things and, like, move this with those arrows on the screen and stuff. And that's a pretty cool system and a pretty cool setup um, that allows you to place these big buildings quickly, easily, and using a kind of intuitive GUI instead of just, you know, guesswork, which it, there is still some guesswork. Let's be real here, but that's okay. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and place that down, and there we go. So now we have ourselves a supply camp all set up and looking good. We can come in here, see all the different stuff that is involved with this. As you can see, blast furnaces, smokers, all that stuff is in here. And uh, yeah, just cool, a little supply camp to kind of get your village started. That's not all that Mine Colonies has. It has a lot of other different villages. As you can see, we've also got the supply ship. And I believe you can also get started with that, but we will need water for it. Now, this might not work. I don't know. We're going to see if we can place it in the water here and just kind of see what happens. Um... You are not allowed to place colonies in other dimensions. This is changeable in the config file. So you can actually change that there. But um, let's see. Huh, interesting. Seems like we can only have one colony, and we've started one over here. But you kind of get the idea. That's how you can start to get things up. You can see all this different stuff. We've got the mechanics hut, for example. is something else that we can build if we have the you know enough space. Oh, we need to place a town hall first. So you can see it kind of walks you through stuff. This is just a really, really cool mod, and there's so much you can do. I mean, it is overwhelming the amount of stuff that you can do with this mod. Um, we suggest to place this schematic, place it anyway. Okay, let's see. No nearby colony found, create a new colony. There we go. So now we have ourselves a colony and we can place this down. We suggest using the build tool to place this schematic. Okay, so let's see if we can get a build tool. And I, at this point, I'm just doing a tutorial of this. Um, I might as well. So it doesn't seem like there's a build tool. Truthfully, this is where the wiki comes in. I am by no means what's... Okay, there we go. So we can now go ahead and place this as you can see um it's probably not going to let us i'm guessing build building there we go awesome is it building it is it building it like on top i don't understand but nevertheless there you have it if you have any questions let us know in the description down below thank you so so much for watching enjoy mine colonies again that wiki in the description down below here is going to help you so much more than this tutorial ever will we're just kind of showing you how to install it and then from there you can learn about it on the wiki but nevertheless my name is nick this has been the breakdown thank you so so much for watching and i'm out peace